One thing we all know about crypto exchanges is that we can't blindly trust them. There have been many instances in the past of exchanges getting shut down or being hacked. And as the saying goes, if you don't own the keys, you don't own the tokens. So if you are someone like me and has finally decided to take over the ownership of your coins into your own hands and is confused about a safe storage option, then you have come to the right place. So in this video, I'll review one of the most popular and advanced hardware wallets available out there. I will cover all the main features, the pros, the cons, the price, so that you have all the necessary information to decide if this is the right one for you. This video is not sponsored and I bought the device with my own money. So you are guaranteed to get a fair review. Before we start, keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random dude on the internet talking about random financial topics. Crypto is a very risky asset, so be extra cautious and invest only the money you are willing to lose. When it comes to crypto investments, your number one concern should be keeping the coins safe. And when it comes to storing them safely, you got three options. To store on the exchange directly, to store on a personal software wallet, on your mobile or on the laptop. It's also called the hot storage. But the most effective way to keep your coin safe is without a doubt storing it on a hardware wallet. Hardware wallet are simple isolated devices that hold your private keys. They never connect to the internet, so no one can access them remotely. And your tokens are safe even if your mobile or laptop is compromised with the virus. And when it comes to hardware wallets, Ledger is one of the biggest names in the industry. The company was founded in 2014 and their product portfolio includes the base version Nano S, the newly released Nano S Plus, and finally, the premium flagship product, the Ledger Nano X. The device comes in this beautiful box, neatly wrapped in plastic and has got a premium look to it. The product name is clearly printed on the front and on the back, there is some information about the security features of the device. So now let's go and open this up. So when you open the box, you find the Ledger Nano X device. A getting started booklet, some regulatory papers that I'm pretty sure no one reads. A USB type C cable, a keychain strap and three sheets of paper. These are for you to write down the recovery phrase. The device is sleek and steady and feels quite robust in hand. You can easily carry it around without the fear of it getting physically damaged. On the front side, there is a Ledger logo and on the back, it's written Resilience by Design. The device has two buttons on the front and a large screen in between. And on the side, there is a USB-C port for charging or connecting to the laptop. The USB-C cable which is included along with the device is nylon braided so it will last for some time. But unfortunately it's a USB-A to USB-C cable so if I want to connect my MacBook then I may have to use an adapter. You can complete the initial setup either on the device directly or using the Ledger app. But for this review I'll do it on the device. So first step is to switch on the device by pressing the black button for one second. Okay, now the device is switched on and it shows the welcome screen. As we have seen before, there are two buttons on the top of the device for navigation. By clicking on the left button, you navigate to the left and clicking on the right, you get the point. And to validate a selection, you have to press both buttons together. Now it's asking to download the Ledger Live app from the Ledger website. So we'll just skip through the menu right now. So now it's showing the option to set up as a new device. So we select that by pressing both the buttons. Next step is to choose a pin between four to eight digits. The pin restricts the access to the device. So choose a strong one that you can remember. I'll just fast forward this step. So after that, it will ask to confirm the pin. So you have to enter the pin again. Now comes the most critical step. You'll be shown your 24 word seed phrase. These words are the backup to all of your crypto assets in the wallet. So if your Ledger Nano X gets lost or becomes unusable for any reason, you can use a seed phrase to restore your tokens. So it's very important that you write it down immediately. Once you have written down all the words on the recovery sheet, the final step is to confirm the phrase back one by one in the Nano X. 
So now the recovery phrase is set. Although this process seemed a bit long, it didn't take me more than 10 minutes to finish. To transfer coins to the wallet, you must first install the Ledger app and then pay your mobile to the device. Then you must install individual wallet apps corresponding to each coin you want to store on the device. I will cover this as a part of a separate tutorial video, so do subscribe to the channel. And another important thing to remember is that the coins actually do not reside inside the wallet. The wallet just stores your private key which opens the lock to your address on the blockchain where your assets live. Next we will see some of the pros and cons of the device. The device is very beginner friendly and easy to use. I could set up the whole thing in less than 10 minutes. The navigation options are simple and the transactions can be authorized very quickly. But the area where the device actually shines is the wireless support through Bluetooth. You don't have to physically connect the device to your laptop whenever you want to make a transaction. Using the app over Bluetooth, you can check your balance and send and receive assets immediately. A significant drawback in the base model, the Ledger Nano S, was the reduced storage space. Since you have to install wallet apps corresponding to each coin on the device, it should have enough hard drive capacity. Capacity. This device has room for 100 wallet apps corresponding to 100 coins which should ideally cover an average crypto investor. And this device supports more than 1500 coins and tokens including the most popular ones. So if you own a crypto there is a 99% chance that it is supported. And also having a built in screen reduces some dependency with the mobile app. You will be able to see for example the entire Ethereum or Bitcoin address on the screen during the verification stage of sending or receiving the crypto. The device also comes with an inbuilt battery so you can use it on the move without plugging it in. And according to the company, the battery life is about 8 hours and should have a 5 year lifespan. The app is very easy to use and makes it simple to connect to the device and transfer coins quickly. You can also buy crypto directly through services such as Coinify and Moonpay. And there is also the swap feature that lets you exchange one crypto asset for another without switching it back to the fiat currency. Another cool feature that I found interesting was the concept of hidden wallet. You can store your crypto in the most safest hardware possible, lock it up with the most secure pin, engrave the pin in a steel plate and lock the steel plate in a bank locker but still someone can spend $5 to buy a wrench and threaten you with that to give them the keys. You can avoid this by creating a dummy wallet account on the Ledger Nano X and then provide the keys to the dummy account to the attacker. And when it comes to the cons, the main one is that you have to buy it. And this is one of the most expensive options out there. Also when you compare it with the Trezor counterpart, this lacks a touch screen. But considering the fact that you can do everything on the app and how less you would be using the device interface once it is initially set up, I don't think this is much of a disadvantage. Another minor setback is that the internal battery is not replaceable. So if the battery gets destroyed somehow, you might have to buy another wallet. And finally, the firmware is not open source. So you cannot independently verify its robustness. You just have to trust the company to do a good job. And at last we come to the price factor. The Ledger Nano X costs $149, which is double the price of the baseline model, the Nano S. Basically, you are paying extra for the Bluetooth connectivity and the extended support of the coins. While it may seem a bit expensive for a hardware wallet, considering the features it have, I think the price is reasonable. And once you make the decision to buy, don't buy it from Amazon or eBay or any place other than the official website. There are many scams with tamper devices and I don't want you to fall into one and lose all your coins. You can find the official link to buy the Legend Nano X below in the description. It's my personal link so when you make a purchase, I will get a commission and in that way you will be supporting me and the channel. I know it's easier and less of a headache to keep the coins on an exchange. But then you have to trust the exchanges and there is not a single exchange that hasn't been hacked until now. So if you really care about securing and protecting your crypto, then I would highly recommend investing in a hardware wallet. And the Ledger Nano X is one of the best ones out there you can buy with your money. And where do you currently store your crypto? Do you already have a hardware wallet? Just let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, think about subscribing to the channel. Until I see you next time, take care and ciao.